Bark beetles are continuing to eat away at the beloved Torrey Pines trees at Del Mar. 10 News reporter John Horn learned the drastic measures the city is now considering to fight back. This may look like some quirky oceanfront public art, but don't be fooled. It's a trap and the city of Del Mar may need even more. David Parks and his husky named Rexy are regulars at Del Mar's Seagrove Park. There's still lots of grass, but David says he's seen other things disappear. See this little mound here? <clears throat> I think there was one just right near the mound. He's talking about Del Mar's famous Torrey pine trees. Many have been eaten alive by bark beetles. The drought has weakened the tree's ability to defend itself, opening the door to a beetle invasion. Yeah, it's really uh, messed it up. Del Mar is trying to fight back to keep its trees healthy and ultimately the public safe during storms and high winds. We saw a lot of the trees around here started to lose limbs and stuff, so I think eventually it'll start breaking down the tree. Last year, Del Mar installed these bark beetle traps at two parks in the city. It collected nearly 50,000 beetles. That's more than 10 times the number of trees on Del Mar's public property. Around this area, probably every fourth or fifth house has got a Torrey Pines on its property. Now, the city's looking at ways to stop the bark beetles from surviving on private land. Currently, Del Mar officials can't go onto someone's property and remove a sickened tree. The city council on Monday is going to discuss how far the city should be able to go when it comes to eradicating the bark beetle. That includes whether a city worker could go on private property, remove the tree, and charge the owner with a lien on their land. If it's a safety issue and it needs to be taken out, that makes sense. But if it's just for someone to get a better view, then that's, you know, a different issue. So the beetles may be in check where David and Rexy walk, but they're still at large in the Del Mar streets above. John Horn, 10 News.